Thanks everyone for having patience with me as I got my life together. I'm glad to get another video out. In this episode, we're gonna find out what I'm gonna do with this boat. And I've got a big announcement. Never look back unless you are planning to go that way. Hmm. The last year and a half, two years of uh, making videos has been kind of this upside down in my life, you know, midlife crisis. And, and there's a lot of things that, that I haven't shared that, that people won't understand that happened. But, and that doesn't matter. But I, I think w the announcement that I want to make today is finally I've got a direction made a decision and we're going for it. I've had a great time sailing and traveling all over the world. I've really enjoyed learning to kiteboard, but if I really want to live my dreams, I just can't sit in Brazil kite surfing and drinking coconuts. I need to put aside my fears, get out of my comfort zone and just go for it. So I did what no sailor in their right mind should do. I went to the Miami boat show and looked at new boats <laughs> that were totally out of my price range. Uh, but just to kind of, just for fun to see what was out there. You know, part of the problem was, you know, because of my personal finances, I was left with, with, with just a small amount of my, my life savings left. And, and, and I wanted to keep it, you know, I have no house, have nothing. Everything I own fits in a storage unit. And, and, and I hate to, to buy a boat and basically drop every, every penny I have in, into a boat because if it doesn't work out that's like it's gone and I'll be starting from from ground zero so I started looking at my options I thought well I could just get a monohull because I, I felt like I really needed to get on the water right away I could get a little monohull live on it while I finish my catamaran or I could get a bigger monohull maybe like this one which this one's for sale it's in the same boat yard I am I think it's about 18,000 make him an offer this probably needs to be repowered it's a huge boat sail master I don't know 50 40 something 50 something I don't know uh, and I thought, okay, well, I get a world cruise, but you know, the, the more I looked at it and the more I thought about it, you know, I, I, I'm, I knew what I wanted and I just wasn't, I did, it was just, everything was out of my price range. I just couldn't do it. So, you know, I thought, okay, we'll go back to the boat, but I wanted to get out of the water. And I, I sat in this dilemma back and forth, not knowing what to do. I found myself in Newport, Rhode Island which has a lot of great sailing heritage. Uh, and I even found myself staying in the Siemens Church Institute in this old building here. Before I tell you why I'm in Newport, Rhode Island, I wanna jump back and talk about my Antares project that's for sale. Well, here it is waiting for me. They're waiting for someone else. Actually, I had the boat sold, but the person buying it uh, had some health problems and uh, had to back out which is really unfortunate because he was a really great guy and I was gonna, I was really happy to have him start working on the boat. It makes me sad and, and, and it's such a great boat. I mean, granted it needs, it still needs some work, but it's such a great boat. It, it's just sad I couldn't finish it. But I think there was, there was, I think it's a mental block. I, I honestly think that is. I just, after things fell apart, I just couldn't bring myself to finish it. Uh, so with that, it's going to be a good project for someone. Um, like I say, I've got about two years of work in it. The major structural stuff is, is done on it. The engines are rebuilt and I've got a lot of things for it. Like I've got brand new tow rail, you know, there's a couple thousand dollars just in tow rail for it. Uh, just uh, the, the fans for the engines, it's ready for paint. If you put paint on this thing, it would, uh, it would really be a big start coming together. Yeah, there's a lot of tools and everything that come with it air compressor, a lot of stuff just to get you started. A lot of the hatches are new. It's a big boat. This side here, everything is in pretty good shape. Just put the floorboards in. I've got the engine compartment cleaned back out, ready to pop that engine back in. There's all the floorboards and spare fiberglass. All the work I've done on this, all the, I've got all the doors built for this, the doors built and this would make someone a great boat um, and, and hopefully the right person will, will find it. Um, so I've got probably at least $60,000, $65,000 into the boat. Um, and so I'm going to ask that, but I'm pretty negotiable, especially someone who can make a, a, a fast and easy sale uh, and, and deal with the registration and everything. One of the original 
uh, cruisers is Lynn and Larry Harday, I think is, and they, they did a bunch of books. They started cruising in the the 60s, and, and, and they said, you know, the, the thing is, go small and go now. And so that's that's kind of what I wanted to do is, is take this opportunity uh, because there's always an excuse, right? Uh, there's always an excuse, oh, it's because of this or because of that, and you always have an excuse not to go. And so I'm excited to actually try and, and go for it. So do I have what it takes? I have no idea if I have what it takes, but uh, I'm at this point where I have to give it a try, you know? I have to take the risk and see if I can make it happen. Hey, you may ask yourself why a Florida man is here in Rhode Island in this freezing cold, although today is absolutely beautiful. Um, I came to do the inspection of my new boat, and this is not it. <laughs> my new boat. You want to see it? It's right there. Okay, well, it's right there on the other side of that black boat. You can see the mast. <laughs> Early morning, preseason sea trial. It's cold for a Florida man. <laughs> but it makes me excited, gets me excited when we're, it's gonna be warm and I'll be out here cruising around. I'm psyched. Proud new owner. <laughs> Is it natural? Until <laughs> we get the sails up. I know. Then we're talking. <laughs> Did you figure out what kind of boat I'm buying? Leave a comment down below and let me know if you figured it out. Be sure to contact me from the website or my email address if you're interested in the Antares project and taking that on for more details. I want to thank all you guys that have stuck with me uh, as I've gone through this challenging time and I get back into boats, get back into cruising, and hopefully become. A, a cruiser and I've got a lot of work to do on this boat fiberglass electrical motor work you name it uh, that's gonna be happening as I take this boat and turn it into a world cruiser all right thanks again until next time